Got original 1950 Dodge Cornet. These are this one is the deluxe radio. It's got seven push buttons on it, and uh, we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It's got a stereo DVC speaker in it. It's got four channels, so it leaves you two more channels you can use somewhere else. Uh, it's got pre outs on it if you want to add an amp or even a sub. And we've done this radio in 12 volt negative ground. And it's, uh, it's a whole lot better than the six volt. I like it. it sounds great. Redone the background in it because uh, a lot of these have a uh, kind of painted stuff on, and it was getting real bad and breaking off. So we redone the background, uh, repolished all the knobs and everything, and done a full roar design conversion. It's got AM and FM stereo, auxiliary in, four channels. Output 45 watts a channel pre outs on it USB port It's your USB port. This will charge your phone your devices play a thumb drive auxiliary in right above there You get a mail-to-mail -mail cord plug in anything you want to into that satellite radio uh, CD changers your phone mp3s It's also got Bluetooth hand-free phone calls voice command voice assistance uh, this radio will scan your stations for you. We're going to demonstrate that. And it's got voice ID, which is real neat in an AM radio. Uh, I do not have a Dodge Bizzle. I've got plenty of Plymouths, but not a Dodge. Dodge is kind of hard to come up with. <coughs> one of these days I'll find a good one. So I can put it on there to demonstrate the radio for you. Anyhow, right now you're on FM. Won't go to AM radio, just simply turn the radio off and right back on. AM radio. That's 650 here in Nashville. Off and right back on. Takes you right back to FM stereo. Now we're on this preset. It's got one, two, three, four, five presets. We want to go to dial. All we do is press this and let's go to dial. Alright, because it's marked dial. That way we can uh, actually run the dial and find stations. Was there? Travel and base like you've always had. Got built in balance, built in fader in your toner control, which now is the new stuff. It's push button operated which is real cool because some of these, when you get the bezel on them, they're hard to get to because back in AM radios, all you have was toner. You didn't have to worry about it. Uh, these these five here are all presets. They got individual coils on them. So uh, say we want to set one up. Let's set this one up. Pull the button off. Let's go let. Got a little screw here that runs its own individual coil. Got it set. All we do is put the button back on it, and you can set them all up this way. Rock. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurance. Now, at any time you're on FM. A lot of people don't listen to AM anymore, but these things will pick up all kinds of AM stations. Like to know where you're at, you're on FM. You take your little push button and push it one time. FM 95.1. All right, it tells you where you're at. FM 89.5. That's pretty cool. Now you can actually look up your own station going down the road. And if you wanted to find a station for you, a lot of times you can still do it with the volume knob. You gotta turn it twice and it'll start scanning for it. Or take this push button and push it four times. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. 
Now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle loop. I'm going to show you how to lock on a station, even find where it is. In, in, and identify that, there's going to be a lot of people it seems to me who are going to be extremely reluctant to fill out this form of nine questions that comes from the we, we can have related, with a load of say you like that station there you can turn this one click up and to lock on it or you can press this three times one two three station hold Frozen there. Now she locked right on. He says, when you like pray, to know which station it is, push it once. FM 91.7. Now, what are you giving thanks for? What, that's what. One of the questions Betty and Wally get most often about going to school. So that's how your voice ID works and your scanning. And uh, that's pretty neat. Of course, when you put it in scanning mode and you stop it and lock on a station, if you want to find it, let's do that. There's no excuse to not start furthering your education today at Colorado. Scanning for stations. No excuses. Go to ccu.edu slash Wally to learn more. Colorado Christian University is a nonprofit impact. Devera, what's at stake nationally with the census, the information that the government collects? What's at stake for all of us who are supposed to participate? So you like that station there, all you do is turn it once. Station hold. Or, right after she says that, if you want to find it, it'll go quiet till you find that station. Paul. There it is. Uh, from Dwight. Identify it one time. FM 90.9. Song by That's the That's pretty neat. Now I'm going to show you how to do your balance and fader. Uh, balance, since you've got a DVC right here, these... This one speaker is a full range stereo, all built in one. Uh, you really wouldn't have to worry about balance that much unless you add kick panels or, but you definitely want to fade it if you want to be able to put speakers in the back, you want to be able to fade it. And uh, we used to have to turn this. Now, on some of these radios, see how this little deal is? It's a string driven. So it gets kind of awkward to do the motions on this one. So what we're gonna do is we got it now to the push button. One time and hold. Fader adjust. There's the rears. Fronts. That's this speaker. Put some rear on it. All right. All you gotta do is stop. She'll set it. Fader set. Back on treble and bass. That's how you do your fade. Balance is the same way. Twice and hold it down. One, two, hold. Balance adjust. She left Dallas, oh California. Let's balance it out. Let her set it. Balance set. Well, it did not say All right, now we're back on treble and bass. Later, Easier to get to. We like easy. Now we're going to do uh, auxiliary in. This is a new deal I got. Because a lot of your phones you get nowadays don't have a headphone out. You can pick these up off eBay or at your phone store. All you do is just plug it in, if I can find the hole there. Yeah. Pull out your mail to mail cord. Now you might have a satellite radio or XM, you can, you can leave that plugged in. All you do is bring it up and hit play the radio automatically changes over. We're going to use the phone. All you do is plug it in, it gives you a port and a charging port on your phone. For ones that do not have headphones out, turn it on, all you do is hit play. That's how your auxiliary in works, automatic. When you get ready to go back to radio, just turn it off. If I can get it there, there we'll just turn it off. And you don't have to touch the radio, you can unplug it. But in 20 seconds, if you don't, it'll go back to where we had it. And that's what we're going to let it do. But if you wanted to cancel that 20 seconds down shorter during that time, just turn it off and right back on. To the valley with my old friend. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. You're going to do the initial pair up on your phone. I'm going to pair this one up so we can uh, demonstrate. 
There's two ways of doing it. Turn the volume up twice. Press and hold this push button down. Hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Bring our Bluetooth up. There it is. It showed up. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Now if a phone call comes in, what we want to do is we're going to turn this dude off. We're going to make sure it'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So once you do the initial pair up, you shouldn't have to do it anymore unless you buy your new phone or if you have trouble with your old phone. And that's what we're checking right now to make sure that it comes right back on. And let's go back. Bluetooth connected. That's what we want right there. All right. Now we're going to do a voice command. Phone call comes in. No matter what the radio's doing, Bluetooth overrides it. She'll come on and say, incoming call. All you do is turn this up one click to answer your call or press this button once. Answer your call when you're done, you let the phone hang up and go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Or if you want to end it, turn it down here or twice here. Let's do a, we're going to do a voice command. You got a built-in mic right here, which I find these to be very well, they, they operate good. Plus you get an extra mic that you can plug in where it says mic. In case your car is convertible or you might have some glass packs or a big old motor in it, you want to get it a little bit closer to you. You can hold this down again and bring your phone up. Auditorium do a voice command. You can do it here on the volume knob September up twice. September 4th and September 5th. And ticket information. Play music. On the music on my phone. Let's go that way so we can watch it operate. Now I can actually change my songs here. Rotate it up. Back up. Up here one time. Back twice up a repeat. Back up. Back up. That's how that works. Now if you want to do anything, you can look up you can look up restaurants, whatever your smartphone's capable of doing, just by either holding us down or turning the volume up twice. Let's go back to radio. We're going to hold this down. Stop music. Put it pause right back to radio. That's how your Bluetooth and everything works. Screaming your music, voice commands, answering your phone calls. That's pretty cool. All right, now we're going to do a USB. You'll get one of these that comes in the package. It's got the video on it that I'm shooting right now and music and the files already built for you. Manual's on here even though I give you a cop, paper copy in case you're losing them, you got them on here. All you do is a lot of people hide this so you plug it in, go straight to it. The only time you got to take this out, you want to charge your phone, your devices. Go straight to it. Same way as operating your songs on your phone, you do this. Turn it up. Back up. Vance. Back up. Now since you can hide this, you're going to be able to put it in pause. Hold this down one second and go to pause. Put it in pause right back to radio. Cycle back around. <coughs> you can also do it with the volume knob. Let's go back to the thumb drive. One second. Back to the thumb drive. Now let's do it with the volume knob. We're going to go to pause by turning this down twice. Pause. Back to radio. Back on radio. Down twice. Back to thumb drive. That's 
That's your 1950 Dodge Cornet AM radio with a full roar design conversion. Built this in 12 volt negative ground. And uh, I like them that way. They, they put out a good sound and really go for it. You always have cows around. Well, what else are you going to spend that extra money on? What else is going to get you up?